One of history's darkest chapters was revisited today in Poland. Survivors of the notorious Auschwitz Nazi death camp took part in an event on Holocaust Remembrance Day. Senior Foreign Affairs correspondent Amy Kellogg has the story from London tonight. A solemn pilgrimage to the world's most notorious death camp that still bears the sign reading, Work Will Make You Free. It was here at Auschwitz in Poland where one million of the six million Jews who died during the Holocaust perished from work or outright mass murder. As we enter the year of the 70th anniversary of D-Day in June, crowds mark the 69th anniversary of the liberation of this concentration camp, whose survivors were freed seven months later. Israel's largest delegation of Knesset members ever came to pray and remember. They were accompanied by 24 Holocaust survivors at today's remembrance. I remember how they burnt down the crematoria. I remember the awful sounds of the sirens. I was in a small house and I saw it from the window. Fear anxiety. Jews and members of other groups persecuted by the Nazis arrived on packed trains on these very tracks to an uncertain and inescapably horrific fate. Fox's Mike Huckabee was with the international delegation. You look at the snow, you cannot hide the blood, the blood of my brother and sister that were massacred here. 69 years ago, this place was liberated, Congressman. When you came here today, Tell me the impact that it had on you. Governor, it's, it's almost without words that I stand here. You know, I, I think I've now been to the worst place on earth, and uh, there are so many unanswered questions when you look at where we are and the enormity of the evil that took place here. As we approach that time in history when there will no longer be any Holocaust survivors alive to tell their stories, it will be up to their families and to the Auschwitz Memorial itself to ensure the world never forgets. In London, Amy Kellogg, Fox News.